Our outfitters were hilarious, but isn't it kind of sad when they lead your son on a wild goose chase for his first African animal telling him he made a bad shot, that this animal could charge us at any time, when the guy that came in to pick up the animal had seen it, knew right where it was, and that it was expired, and he plops my son right on top of it. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cruel. Oh, that was great. Congratulations, Trey. Okay. Uh, we out here in the Northern Cape. Uh, Trey and his dad, John, is hunting here with nitro safaris. Uh, we're hunting here on a uh, Saro Fortskitters place called Goot Plot in the Northern Cape. Uh, Trey, we, we went out this morning. Uh, we wanted to shoot a blue wildebeest that was on your list. Um, it was Trey's first animal in Africa. We were sitting in the blind. And uh, we had a lot of movement there, Eland and Impala, and then suddenly two blue wildebeest bulls came in. Uh, there was a younger one and this big old boy. And we saw him and we got ready. Uh, it was a little bit of a commotion in the blind. <laughs> and we were very excited and uh, we set Trey up. Uh, he gave us a broader side shot. Uh, Trey, could you tell me a little bit what was going through your head? Uh, I was just trying to hit it in the right spot, pretty much. You know, you don't know what to think whenever you're just going through, the, going through trying to get a shot on it. It's, it's really intense and exciting. Uh, well, and uh, Trey took the shot, hit it perfect uh, in the heart. Uh, it went most probably about 200 yards. We found it here in, a, in the bush. It played a little trick on old Trey, yeah. But a beautiful animal, Trey. Congratulations. I hope it's the first of many in Africa and with nitro safaris. Thank you.